in this video we are gonna crochet together this cute little cantaroupe mushroom. To make this cantaroupe you need some yellow yarn. I'm using a recycled cotton yarn called Karma from Kremke Soul Wool. You also need a crochet hook. I'm using a Chloe crochet hook that is 3.5 five millimeters and a pair of scissors and you also need a darning needle. The pattern for the cantarelle is available inside the Amigur calendar of 2023. You'll find it linked down below. It is available both in physical form and in digital and here we have it. You also need to know how to crochet a magic circle, single crochets, increases and decreases. Let's start with a magic circle with six single crochets. And I do my magic circles with two chains and then in the second chain from the hook I make my six single crochets. But you can use whatever method that you prefer for your magic circle. One, two, three, On the second round we are gonna crochet six increases until we have 12 stitches at the end. So one increase, two, Three, four, five, and six. On the Next round, which is the third round, we are gonna crochet one single crochet and one increase. Repeat that six times until you have 18 stitches. So one single crochet, one increase, and repeat this five more times. Okay, on round four we are gonna crochet two single crochets, one increase, repeat that six times until you have 24 stitches. So one single crochet, two and a increase. And repeat this five more times. Mm -hmm. 
on the next round we are gonna crochet three single crochets one increase repeat that six times until we have 30 stitches so one two three and a increase and repeat this five more times On round six, we are crocheting four single crochets, one increase, repeat that six times until we have 36 stitches. So one, two, three, four, and a increase. And repeat this five more times. Okay. Now it's time to start decreasing. So we have now made the top of the hat of the mushroom. So on the next round, we are gonna crochet four single crochets, a decrease, repeat that six times until we have 30 stitches. So one, two, three, four and then a decrease I'm doing a invisible decrease so I crochet only through the front loops when doing the decrease and then repeat that five more times like this on the next round which is round number eight we are gonna crochet three single crochets one decrease repeat that six times until we have 24 stitches so one two and three and a decrease And repeat this five more times. On the next round we are gonna crochet two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that six times until we have 18 stitches. So one, two, and a decrease. And repeat this five more times. And as you can see, I'm crocheting inside out when I do my decreases because I feel like they get tighter that way or it's easier for me to get them tighter and that way there will no, not be any uh, holes where my decreases are. And after I'm done with my decreases I just turn it the right side out. Okay. 
Okay, now the hole is getting so tight, so I'm gonna turn the canterelle with the right side out and continue crocheting around. like this. So we have still one decrease around left before we start crocheting on the foot of the mushroom. So on the next round we are gonna crochet one single crochet and one decrease. We repeat that six times until we have 12 stitches. So one and a decrease. And repeat that five more times. Okay. On the next round, we are gonna crochet one single crochet in each stitch. So 12 single crochets in total. Okay, on the next round, which is round 12, we are gonna crochet four single crochets, one decrease, repeat that two times until we have 10 stitches left. So one. Two. Three and four and a decrease and repeat that one more time. Like so. On the next round, we are gonna crochet 10 single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch. On the next round, we are gonna crochet three single crochets, one decrease, repeat that two times until we have eight stitches left. And on the next round we are gonna crochet one single crochet in each stitch, so eight stitches in total or eight single crochets. And we have arrived at the last round. On round 16, we are gonna crochet two single crochets, one decrease, repeat this two times until we have six stitches. Like this. Cut off the yarn. You don't need to save anything because we are gonna wave in both yarn ends. Or of course, if you are gonna hang it somewhere, you can save a little bit for that purpose, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And then we just flatten the top and we have a cantrell. We are gonna wave in this end first, and then we are gonna sew with this end through the hat, uh, just to keep it flat, otherwise it might poof out like this. This is probably also some kind of mushroom, but we want a canterelle and then they look more like this. So let's close the 
hole that we have left at the bottom by waving through the front loops of all six stitches. And then you pull. Ta-da! And then we just wave in the yarn end. If this piece of the yarn isn't long enough, you can cut a new one. I'm just pulling it through, poking it up somewhere underneath jumping over a stitch and then up again. And then we wave in the tiny little yarn end that is left. And then it's done! Our little canterelle! Thank you so much for spending your time and crocheting together with me! If you don't know what to make next, I highly recommend you to check out my Fly Agaric Mushroom tutorial. You see it here on the screen. See you in the next video! Bye!